Hello everyone, Jim here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Disneyland 1956. And as you can see right behind me, we have basically finished all of Town Square. As you can see, I have all the little trash cans, all the little nitty details. And I even started actually on the interior of Mr. Lincoln, which actually at the time was not Mr. Lincoln, it was just a normal opera house changed some blocks up here and there looking back in the pictures but looking inside here I'd say these turned out pretty nice but obviously not all of it is finished as you can see through this window so just a portion again interiors aren't really my uh, expertise compared to exteriors but you know the interiors have to happen somewhere so that's what's happening with that I'll not be showing interiors because that is because what's the point of showing the interiors if you guys are just going to come on anyway and explore them yourself? I have to keep some mystery in it. But what we are going to do today is that I'm. this is going to be the first of four parts gonna, of Main Street USA. We're going to concentrate on a portion here, then this one, then that one, and then that one. So and just to keep time uh, shorter, because Main Street... This might take me an entire week or two just to finish, and I don't want an entire week of just Main Street. That'll get too boring and too tedious. Oh, I finished the hub. Get to that when we get there. So I'm just going to start with the portion of uh, Main Street starting on this side, and I am basically going to be, more, for the most part, referencing off of my older ones. Let's change this one to day. So I can see better. All right, so simply we start off with this. And then I will just simply go back on all these buildings and add some more detail to them uh, as I go forward. Or once I stop recording, add all detail. I just want to get the overall buildings in and out of the way. So what we have is two two, we're going to have that one in a window, then it's two doorway, there, there, and then this, though actually I'm just going to do this right away, because you know that makes more sense, and then we kind of just have it here, but I'm going to put the windows all the way up compared to what I did last time. And then we have overhangs. Uh, although it looks like there were no overhangs in the original. I'm looking at that picture where Walt is standing right in front of this building that I'm building here. And there doesn't seem to be any overhangs, but I think I might keep them just because... You know, it looks good. All right, now back to the other one. All right, and then we simply have spruce wood. And then moving up, we have back then, which would have been this color, here, 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 and there. Then each have window, and then of course this one would have gone up two. Now what color wood is that? That looks to be birch. So let's do birch. Actually, I want to do this. We get a little more depth in there. I might actually want to do that with these windows too. What does it look like on the actual picture? Uh, they're just straight up flat. But you know, this is Minecraft. We we want to make things look pretty. And when things look flat, it looks unprofessional. So we're just going to do that. And now the trick here is this little overhang sort of thing here. Basically what I did last time was that I just took and then two windows and then what I used for the roof. Yeah, I just used these for the roof. 
And then, let's see, what does the door look like? It just has glass here. And it looks like there's a there's a little miniature model of Sleeping Beauty Castle hanging right here. I don't think I can replicate that. I might go back on that little detail later. All right, so then we have, oh yeah, we have two more. We have more of these uh, birch going up. And then I'm just gonna do this right now. Then we have the fences. Last time I used normal birch fences, but I think I am gonna use these ones. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. And then, let's see, we're gonna have signs right here, here, there, and there. And then we are actually going to have, although, uh, oh yeah, item frames where that would be. And then just put more down here. All right. All right. Now we just simply add in the top, which from my understanding is just a straight up square. Yes siree. And then, let's see, I also have a street view over on Google, over on uh, Google uh, Maps, although it's not that good of one. I'm actually going to use quartz for this one. Uh, which one use? I use... No, no, wait. I think I got something better in mind. Hmm. I wish I could get a better angle view of that building, but nowhere. The picture obviously does not show the top of the roof. So... This roof right here might be subject to change, but I guess for now, I'm just gonna leave it as I originally had it, which was like so. Then instead of doing half slabs, I like doing these because they're a lot shorter, but yet they're still effective. And I believe that is that building. Yes, sir. That it is. All right, and now we have what I believe is the Crystal Arcade is the next building right here. However, I should probably do some measuring before I continue. All right, make sure everything fits. All right, so the Penny Arcade is gonna be here, here, and then it's one, two, three, four, and two more there. And then we have this brick building. It's gonna be right there. Then it goes out, and then it's two. It's out, and then two. And then we have the corner building, which is going to be one, two, three, five. That is a little too long. So what I might do, let's see here. It's hard to narrow these down because that building is exactly the way it should be. Crystal Arcade should be All right, so yeah, I'm gonna move 
the Penny Arcade in words by one, making it a three by three. And then I'm going to make this building, this brick building, a two by three by two. And then this gives us two to subtract to that one. And then we have that corner, which I can fiddle around with later. All, all right. All right, I think we got this now. And we got a pretty good layout for what we need to do. Now, the Penny Arcade is going to take a little bit more time. So I am actually going to start off right away with the brick building. For one, because it's one of my favorite buildings that I built due to the little horse perspective windows that I conceived of. But then it just, it just did well. All right, so let me get ready here. All right, so we have all the materials that we need. And now, or at least to start this thing. But now, let's actually uh, do it. All right, so then that's a door. And then use an entrance then however I'm thinking of, of moving this up one because I'm here it works what is it what would it look like if the doorway here was still at two that'd be one two three four five was it three yeah one yeah, wait one two three yeah, five. So it'd be right there. And it would be like that, which does line up to everything else. And then that overhang, eh. The overhang is nothing really too important. So yeah, this is what worry we are gonna be doing, although it kind of seems weird that, although I, Kind of how it is, where well, the brick building is wider than the crystal arcade, but I don't know. I can move things here and there with a world edit if I need to. So, looking. All right, got in position. We have these two, and then we have everything up. Well, that's a window. And then we have a middle section that is this color, but I'm thinking of using this just so we can have some depth. And simply use the stone to go behind it like so. Then we have one of my favorite things, which I discovered while making uh, these maps. The power of force perspective windows. All right, so let's get these up here. And then we have window one. And if I recall, yes, there are two stacks of windows. And it looks as though this roof kind of aligns with this one, which is a little bit, a little bit near. Nah. However, this portion is actually supposed to be down one. Hmm. And I think I might keep it like this. So, yeah, it's actually down below, so oh, but that kind of screws up this thing. Also want to make sure that everything is height-wise accurate, because then that can determine what other buildings are going to be, or whatever their size is. So because of that, let's actually start here. 
So that's the one window. And then, yeah, we can just continue off with. Let's see. Let's use this. Put that right there. Put that there. And, although actually I did it, I actually kind of like that better. Like so. Then we do the same thing over here. that. Alright, so now we have our height measured out. So now, yeah, this would go there. I'm going to need two more here. Finish these windows. And like that. Alright. So now, there are actually overhangs on these things, but that doesn't look right. So I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those overhangs. Pretty prominent feature, if you ask me. However, these ones will work. Although they're kind of, let's use a different color. It's more accurate to this color. Like so. And then, yeah, so now we have the upper part, which I did do in quartz, in the old one. So I think I'll just do quartz for the, like this, and then, yeah, it's a four. To keep things nice and squared. And then we have weird overhangs, if I must say so. I'm going to use, let's see what this looks like. And then we are going to have these right there. And then I got rid of my stairs. So now let's just do repeat all the way around, even though we actually don't really have to. And then we have, let's see. Then we have that uh, little triangle up top. What did I do last time? Yeah, that is what I did. It's as simple as this. We use these, and we use these. And we put these here, and we put that there. And then as for the new universal tradition here, by using trap doors instead and I'd say we got our little brick building over here and again I'll go back and do a lot more detailing later so with that we can go back we got a little bit of time left we can get a good start on the crystal arcade which I did it like this. These blocks were these. And then we have, well, how tall are the blue ones exactly? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight tall. How does that compare to the actual? Three, four, thanks. Eight. Not bad. I guess that's going to be our height. 
And then we have... We have the little pop-out. Where it's kind of pinkish, but I'm going to use red. And how high did I have it? Alright, I had it... Here. Then it also pops out, though. Hmm. Let's do... Do this. Then we'll have our roof. For example, right there. Now let's actually get this roof angle for next. All right, so we have what I'm actually gonna use these instead. And then judging by the picture, those go down a bit. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to use this and this. And that looks really pretty good. And then we just simply have something. Let's see, what should I use? I used wool last time, but looking back on it, it doesn't look that good. I'm just going to use this for now. Yeah. Have it like that. And that looks to be right. Now the trick is, is that there's a fence right here, but I have an idea of how I might be able to do that. So let's just fill this in. And then we have another set of these. But it looks as though they're not going to fit like that. Hold off on that part. And now let's get this. Let's get this circle out of the way here. Last time I used these, although actually that was for the center one here. And then, yeah, the other blocks made the illusion that that was going up, which I used dark blue and light gray. And I just simply alternated. spindle of like a wheel which actually because of that I might actually use this and then this looks to be a little too mean and 
and then that's flat. You know what? I could use these. And they just get smaller as I go up. Now, oh, this, this little section here might be subject to change, but looking at the time, that is about all we have right now. We made some good progress over on this side. We pretty much almost got this entire face done. And now, next part will most likely be one of these three. I don't know, I guess over here just depends on how much of this alleyway I get done. If I make it to this building, then yes, I'm going to be tempted to finish this side before I do this side. And then, yeah. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Uh, that's about it. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe for more. And I guess that is it. I'll see you guys in the next one.